three, two, one, it's time to begin. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here today. I'm going to put on my magnificent, marvelous voice myself. I want to accept this award, boys. Hey, what's up? It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. It's been a long, good while, but I'm here again. Happy to be here. I miss not being here. But I'm here. Um, I'm going to be talking about Kelly Price during celebrity news segment. Kelly, is you okay? Is you okay? Is you okay, Kelly? Hey, Michael. No, that's a little criminal. Wait, wait. Oh, I didn't hit that right. Let's start again. Hey, and that is a honey. Are you okay? Can you promise? Are you okay? Okay, so Kelly, are you okay? You promise? Are you okay? <laughs> Kelly, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Kelly? Kelly, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Kelly? Okay, y'all ask me. Oh, y'all answer me this. How come in the Michael Jackson smooth criminal song slash video? Do the people at the end start sounding like chipmunks? Honey, are you okay? Do you promise? Are you okay? <laughs> you know, I kind of wonder if one of these little little toys were singing in the background, these little Funko Pop characters. Honey, are you okay? Don't go to Eddie. Okay. <laughs> I know this is not a laughing matter. It's not a laughing matter. And I'm not doing this on purpose. It's just how it's coming out. Kelly Price, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Kelly? Who? Who? that I played the wrong intro. So let's start again. Take two, unedited. Boo! Kelly, is you okay? Is you okay? Who is you okay, Kelly? Kelly, is you okay? Is you okay? Is you okay, Kelly? Now, the correct intro. along to them on my LA TV clipboard. <laughs> my husband and I are moving up in the world like the Jeffersons. But we're moving higher than them. We in space, though. Yes. Okay, so we're talking about Kelly Price, and it's a lot of stuff going on um, revolving. Is it revolving around her and her family? I think the news broke a couple days ago, maybe a few days ago, three, two, or one days ago. 
And um, why I want to talk about it is because there's so many different storylines coming out um, around her where it's not making sense. And a lot of people are naturally wondering if she is okay. No, I don't follow her that much, but I do know about her. Um, I remember her introduction into the music world as far as hip hop goes is from the Mo Money Mo Problems video. And I believe Sean Combs, P. Diddy Diddy, Shiny Suit Man, whatever name he used back then, God bless him, the man of many names. Um, she made her splashy debut in the hip hop era, according to what I can see during that video, Mo Money Mo Problems. So that's when I first was introduced to her. Um, they said, they said, who was they? When she did a few interviews I listened to through the time, she actually got her start, I believe, singing background for George Michael. Rest in peace, George Michael. Dun, 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 dun. You gotta have faith, faith, faith. <laughs> and George Michael, rest his soul, did a debut per se in spirit form, or I don't know. He was in the he was in the um Keanu um movie with King Pill and his his friend. If I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, but the Pill guy, Michael Pill, the Pill people, George Michael um for a good reference for you know the the new generation, George Michael is actually in um. Keanu with the cat. And Kelly Price also sung background, I believe, um, for Mariah Carey. I believe it was George Michael for George Michael's first. And Kelly Price said that she, I think for the, it was that edition, and then she did um Mariah Carey. I think it was Mariah Carey's audition when Kelly Price was pregnant with a child. So it was kind of like a blessing slash miracle that she got that job. You go, girl. So moving on to that, that's a small rundown from what I can remember about her based on what I lived through and what I refresh my memory on by watching videos that I am going to refer to you in this video. I even have my page tab set up so you can follow along with me and so I can help myself keep on task too. I have a lot of notes. I wrote them. It's like six or seven pages. But the thing is, I'm going to start kind of in the middle of my notes to make this make sense so let me see here i'm going to start with um my breakfast club notes which is actually page 3a for me so what i'm going to do is set up shop here and do my what is that right there oh don't want to push that button add my banner and i'm going to share my screen so i can so you guys can follow along with me with uh, Breakfast Club. Share screen. Let's see here. Window, com tab. Oh, where is it? Because I'm actually, I want to share my screen using, um, oh, no, not, not um, Google. I want to share screen using um, Bing. Let me try something really quick. Oh, stop sharing. <laughs> Let me see. I'm lost. Wait. Okay, there it is. I'm not editing this out. So, okay, here I am. And I'm going to do this again. Share. This is really fun, by the way. I can really take my time. I do enjoy the StreamYard app here that I'm using. Oh, there it is. I wonder if it'll let me just pick a tab. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Oh, StreamYard is sharing a window. I wonder if that means you guys can see it now. That would be kind of nice if you could see it now. Add to stream. Okay, I'm adding it to stream, and I'm going to go back into this window here because this is the one I want you to see right here. Kelly Price speaks on body shaming in the music industry, grief, growth, new album, which is called Grace and More. This um, video, as you can see, came out about five months ago, and I listened to it about 
two months after the video. So I listened to this about two months after this video was presented on Breakfast Club. So five months ago, I don't have my calendar. It's what is this, September and count five back. <laughs> Woo, yes. So that's where we are. Um, let me see if I can fix this so it can perhaps be bigger. I don't want to be bigger. Hmm. I want, there we go. Kelly Bryce speaks on body shaming. Now I need to make sure this is muted because I wonder if I can zoom in. If I can just zoom in, it'll, it'll make a world of difference. That's a smart idea. I'm so smart, y'all. I'm 1,000% smart. So there she is. I don't know who Tisa Tales is, but hey, she's getting um, some promo on here. Hey, girl. But we want to focus on Breakfast Club. There. That's nice. So this is the interview with Kelly Price and the Breakfast Club. Once again, it was aired five months ago. Whatever five months ago was because it's September 26th today. And she said a lot of things. And I'm going to start here to open with this re regarding her um the breakfast club kelly price speaks on body shaming in the music industry grief growth new album grace and more this video came out about five months ago so whatever that means do the math okay she said here i just wanted to mention just to kind of list all the things that she's been going through her her father passed away when she was nine and she said her father had passed away due to substance abuse. He had a substance abuse problem. She didn't say exactly what substance abuse it was or substance it was, but still it was a problem. He passed away right before her 10th birthday. And then after that, she said, we're not gonna call it C-19. I like to call it the T-Rex or the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, so she received the, you know what, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Roward, <laughs> Roward, <laughs> T-Rex, she received, her, her grandfather um, received the T-Rex and he passed from it. Her grandmother also got the T-Rex, but she beat it. Per that day, which was five months ago when this video was aired, her grandmother was 95 and about to turn 96. I hope her grandmother is still with us. So that's two things right there that she's going through within a five-month span. You know, five months ago, geez, hold on, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. January, dog, <laughs> pull up a calendar. So between that short time span, that happened, plus the passing of her father. Now, this is something I'm going to quote. So if you do want to go to watch the breakfast club the video where i start quoting from starts at 13 semicolon zero three then there's a slash that says one hour six second what is it one hour six minutes 40 seconds but i'll put the um the time stamp i'll put the time stamp of this down in the comments too but if you want to pause this and go straight to the breakfast club where this interview starts which i'm quoting from it's 13 minutes three seconds and i believe it was charlamagne the god who who um was asking her all of these really good questions he was really leading the conversation with her and he did do a good job asking questions and he kept the he kept it serious it didn't go left at all so this is charlamagne the god and he was like your, your grandparents gave you something that um that named your new album after Grace Grace, and I always say you know like I was gonna ask you when is a time that you needed Grace. 
So I'm going to read that again <laughs> in my best Charlotte the God interpretation. Your grandparents gave you something that uh that you that you named your new album after Grace, Grace, and I always say you know like I was gonna ask you when is the time that you need a grace. So basically, you asking Kelly Price and complimenting her at the same time that Kelly Price backstory basically went through a lot. Her grandparents put up with a lot of her things that they thought were not right according to the Bible back then. The number one thing that her grandparents provided kept provided Kelly Price with graces is by her being, I think, pregnant at 18. That's not holy in church singing in the choir, X, Y, Z. But her grandparents gave her grace through all that despite of being holy rollers. And that's why Charlemagne was like, you know, your grandparents gave gave you grace. Grace. Always, you know, like I was going to ask you is the time that you needed grace. And Kelly responds, nodding her head slowly. Yeah, yeah. I need it a lot. Grace a lot in my lifetime. And we all do. Every time I talked about this project, when people ask me, um, I say, I think the problem is just we as humans, we really can do better about extending grace to other people. Charlamagne's like, yeah, well, well. And she carries on. Most of the time, we don't realize how important grace is until we need it for ourselves. And we find ourselves in a hot seat or people judging our actions, what we said, what they think about us, what they've heard. That's when people want to understand and listen. She continued on by listening and mentioning things regarding grace that went on as follows. Um, her saying, um, um, I have a... a a youth verse reading plan that's coming out. I think in about two weeks on the subject of grace. And I broke the word down into an ac in a, uh, acronym. Um, grace is a gift. It's the gift of giving. Responsibility. Gift, responsibility, accountability of yourself, and to respect the accountability of other people. But with compassion and empathy. That's real grace. You are responsible, and it should be given as freely as you are willing to receive grace. You should give it that freely. That's why I call it a gift. You have the responsibility to be responsible. You should expect others to be responsible, too. We should be accountable. You should hold other people accountable for their actions too. But the difference between that and that true act of grace is to do it in compassion and with empathy. Because at some point, when you need it, that's when you're gonna get it. Boom. Oh, and the war goes to me. So basically, I will read it out of, I will reread it again, but I wanted to start it out by saying this to kind of wrap all this baloney, hoopla, allegations, speculations, people putting together mysteries and stuff about what's going on with Kelly Price, because I can say that the lack, the lack of talking to your people, Miss Price, um, is kind of weird because we don't really specifically know if you're okay or not. We really don't know if you're okay or not. And you know, popping in, even in the bonnet, even though um, Monique don't like it, just pop in for one minute, hey, I'm good, I'm sorry, I didn't connect with you people, but I am okay. You don't have to necessarily talk to your family because if you do have some type of quarrel with your family, why would you? But on the fan tip, because some of your fans may actually love and care and respect you more than your family, and I understand that, I think it will be kind of nice to even leave a 30-second blurb showing that you're okay. Proof of life, unfortunately, to say, because I'm concerned. So I'm going to read this quote again so it can kind of boomerang back to you, Kelly, and also back to... YouTubers such as myself and everybody else who wants to put their five cents in to kind of 
and her to her family too. I'm going to read this again so we all can just be on the even kilter on how we approach this situation because it is shaky. So I really wrote down and listened to everything she said and wrote it down word by word. So I'm going to redo this without all the animations and say it again so it can seep in clear because it's funny. Five months ago, she was Kelly Price was um releasing an album called Grace. And then she's writing a book about grace. And this is the time now where we all could kind of universal, universally or unilaterally, one of those U words, to um, extend some grace all the way around on the even kilter and kind of look at this. But we are just worried. Um, let me see here. This is page 3B, 3B4. Okay. This is what Kelly says once again in the Breakfast Club. Um, hang on. Excuse me. This is what Kelly said in the Breakfast Club interview, which I thought was good. Yeah, yeah. I needed grace a lot. Grace a lot in my lifetime. Wait, wait, wait. Let me start over. Hold the phone. Yeah. Yeah, I needed a lot of grace, a lot. And we all do. Every time I talked about this project, when people ask me, um, I say, I think the problem is just we as humans, we really can do better about extending grace to other people. Most of the time, we don't realize how important grace is until we need it for ourselves. And we find ourselves in a hot seat or people judging our actions. Or, we, or what we've said, or what they think about us, or what they've heard. That's when, that's when we want people to understand and listen. She continued on by listening and mentioning things regarding grace that went on as follows. Um, I have a, a, U, a U verse reading plan that's coming out. I think it's in about two weeks on the subject of grace. And I broke the word down into an uh, acronym. Grace is a gift. It's the gift of giving. Responsibility. Gift. Responsibility. Accountability of yourself and to respect the accountability of other people, but with compassion and empathy. That's real grace, she said with power. You are responsible and it should be given as freely as you are willing to receive grace. You should give it that way freely. So that's why I call it a gift. You have the responsibility to be responsible. You should expect others to be responsible too. We should be accountable. You should hold other people accountable for their actions too. The difference between that and true act of grace is to do it in compassion and with empathy. Because at some point, when you need it, that's what you're going to get. So Kelly... Words are booming around back to you. I ask that you please send a little grace and mercy onto your people who really do care for you. Even though it may seem like the world is against you, there's at least five people who do care for you truly and deeply and are praying for you. I ask that you kind of remember what you said in that Breakfast Club interview and extend some grace onto us and to your sister. I don't know the truth behind the relationship between your sister who's out here running these campaigns looking for you, but um, from the outside looking in, okay? And from the people, the few percent of people who do love you in this big old dark world, I think you should let them know that you're good. You don't have to go into any elaborate details, but just let them know you're cool. Grace Kelly. Not Grace Kelly. Ah! <laughs> well, Grace Kelly. Okay, but Grace Kelly, okay, and I do hope that you're all right. I'm going to stop sharing the screen and go back here to where I was at. Good job, Breakfast Club, for catch, capturing this. And if there's anything you can do, Breakfast Club, to kind of see if you could find her. So now that I have that done, I'm going to actually use my yellow highlighter and X out this page with the yellow highlighter. Can you see it? 
well it's a yellow highlighter and um i'm going to exit out so i can not get lost Let's see here. And there's a lot of stories going around. So what I'm going to do now, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but some time of y'all's I'm going to take. <laughs> Let me see. According to, okay, that's last. Once again, big up Charlemagne. Yeah, for having a really good professional interview. Um with Kelly Price. I do appreciate that. Once again, Kelly, sorry about your loss that you had previous to the T-Rex happening because I believe in my notes you had a unfortunately a sister who passed and then you went through a divorce. The divorce actually was brought about according to what you said in the statement per the fact that your sister had passed. So I'm sorry about all these losses. And how the, the, the love of your city, from what I'm gathering of New York, is not the same as it once was. That's another loss. Your kids are grown, so you're an empty nester. That's another loss. You're an African-American woman. That's another loss. And you know what I mean. It's a lot of losses, y'all. Y'all got to think about and then she did get the T-Rex. All she had time to do was to sit and reflect. I think the C-19 allows people to reflect and really dig deep into themselves. And the only way you can pass the test is if you be real through, real with yourself to come out at the end. So keep fighting, Miss Price. Be honest with yourself so you can get through this. T-Rex is a fire. And it deals with each person personally. It's a Hades on Earth to prevent you from going to the Hades at the end. So I want to share my screen here. Let me see if it will let me segue into another topic that makes perfect sense. See, I'll hurry up and share this page I'm going to share with you is kind of not protected, but I still want to give credit where credit's due. So I'll be in and out real quick. And I wrote um, I wrote down what it said, okay? But I still want to give credit where credit is due. Share screen. So right here, straight from the yay, there's an article I found um, talking about you know, her divorce, and here's some pictures and such. But once again, this website is unsecure. It's not secure, so I'm getting out of it. But I just wanted to show you, um, show you something. And just so you can have something to do, instead of just um, looking at here, I'll keep it up so you guys can see it. Oh, you know, I don't think I share a screen yet. Fudge. Well, th what I was saying is, this is the um, website I got. I went to. I'm only going to keep it up for a short time because it's got a, it's not secure, but it's called Straight from the A, and it talks about Mrs. Price's divorce and the reasoning as to why it happened in the first. place. <laughs> so I just want to give credit to where credit is due, but I did write down the quote that that she said regarding this. I'm going to be in and out and I'm leaving that because it's un once again, it's unsecure. It's not secure. So I'll just leave this page just so you can see that while I talk. and make it bigger you guys can look at that so i um i'm really feeling this so let me find that article here 
Here it is. It's actually page two of my notes. StraightfromtheA.com is the website I just briefly showed you that was read. It's an unsecured page, so I just wanted to show you really quickly and be out so I don't get in any type of trouble on my end. And it says this, the article is from September 23rd, 2015. September 23rd, 2015. It is September 26, 2021. And I think this story actually broke around the same time Miss Price had her divorce. So um, it reads, R&B divas Kelly Price has officially filed for divorce from her husband of 23 years, Jeffrey Roll senior now i'm sorry if i said his last name wrong it's pronounced well it's spelled r o l l e like roll roll jelly roll so <laughs> yeah yeah jelly roll the 42 year old songstress hinted at trouble in her marriage last july when she announced she was divorcing roll i think i'm saying this is wrong <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. <laughs> what movie was that from, boys and girls? Dun, 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 dun. It's from The Craft. <laughs> you're sorry. Ah, you're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. Oh, that woman was crazy. Hear me! Hear us! Woo! We've lost a friend. Now, back to the story. Stick to the story! I can't stick to the story. I'm freestyling and I'm eating Fruit Loops at the same time. Look back here! Okay, um... Price has officially filed the papers to dissolve her marriage. Kelly Price announced her decision to get a divorce last July. Please note, this article that I'm reading to you is posted on September 23rd, 2015. She has a prepared statement to, she wrote a prepared statement to alwaysalist.com stating, that's alwaysalist.com stating, this is who she wrote her prepared letter to. After the untimely death of my sister last year, it weighed on me heavily that this was something we needed to do. I ultimately made the decision to live the best life I can. I ended things because I didn't want to compromise what true happiness was, what true happiness was anymore. There are no hard feelings, and I will love Jeff until the day I die. So, circling back, she said after the untimely death of her sister, it weighed on her. So, quite sure that meant she was close to her. You know, I'm sorry about your loss. Especially if you were close to her. If you're not really close, close is different. And that's sad, but that's just the way the world works. So, so she decided to, you know, her sister's passing pretty much gave her a perspective on, on things. That's what it is. Something's happening to my light. I think as it gets, as time goes on, these lights are getting brighter and are getting hotter. So it's like I'm fading away a little bit. But the quality is a lot better than the last two videos I made, I must say. I'm kind of short, too. Oh, no. That three hide my beloves. <laughs> Don't want the beloves to show. <laughs> oh boy. For mature audience only. Now, so you know, her sister passed and she chose to file a divorce and made her turn around have a different perspective on life so you know i'm just saying this to say that since another thing happened as big as her sister's passing the t-rex was probably something that was just equivalent to that magnitude of her sister's passing and it made her reevaluate some things that ain't supposed to be like that is going now 
being that she's at the second half of the best half of her life. She did motherhood already successfully. Her children are grown and beautiful. She was in a marriage for a good long time. She moved on. To my knowledge, she's in a relationship currently. And on the, and on the source, LarryReed.com. Is it LarryReed.com? Larry Reed Live? Um, he got someone while he was on his live to call in to say that she perhaps may be married now to her boyfriend. And that they wed in, what, Las Vegas? So if that's the case, congratulations, Kelly. I hope that this time around this marriage will be the bomb. Um, if that is true. And the information where I got that um, citing from in regards to Miss Price being now married and being wed in um, Nevada or somewhere in, or in Las Vegas is from the Larry We Live show. And it came from this particular video right here. The backstory to the disappearance of gospel and R&B singer Kelly Price. The backstory to the disappearance of gospel and R&B singer Kelly Price. That's the video right there. That's Larry, Mr. Larry, Larry Re Live. Um, and that's where I got the information from in regards to him actually finding out while he was talking to his followers live, he had got an update from someone, from a source saying that. So to cover my behind, the information I just said in regards to information of Kelly Price now being wed is in that video that you see up there. Once again, there's a lot of a lot of stories. There's another word to it. There's a lot of timelines in regard to Miss Price that's happening as we speak. I typed in through Microsoft Bing what's going on with Kelly Price, and as of now, it says Kelly Price is reportedly missing shortly after her release from a hospital in Georgia. The gospel singer was battling the T-Rex and revealed her diagnosis to fans two months before her disappearance. This information came, it was provided from the search engine of Bing and yes, that was helpful, submit. Um, and it's through the source of hollywoodunlock.com. Let's go to it. Hope it's not gonna play. Hi, it's that one guy. It's that um, it's that one guy. He was just with was wasn't he just with Tony Braxton? Was that dude? Was that Tony Braxton or was that the girl who made the S walk? They look alike now. Okay, so Hollywood Unlocked, written by Deja Monet. Oh, that's a pretty name. September 24th, 2021, okay? So today is uh, September 26th, 2021. So she just wrote this. This is fresh. On Hollywood Unlocked, written by Deja Monet. Hey, girl, thanks for putting this out. And this is a nice picture of Kelly. Thank you for doing that. Kelly Price reported missing in Georgia. Let me make sure I have my, um, what is it? T's dotted and I's crossed. Okay, Kelly Price is reportedly missing shortly after her release from a hospital in Georgia. 
I can minimize this now so everybody can see this just as well as I do. Kelly Price is reportedly missing shortly after her release from a hospital in Georgia. The gospel singer was battling the Tyrannosaurus Rex and revealed her diagnosis to fans two months before her disappearance. Price, Price's boyfriend reported, filed a missing persons report in Cal, in, Price's boyfriend reported, filed a missing report in Cobb County following a welfare check that took place at her home last Saturday. But authorities claim there was no foul play involved, according to TMZ. Price is now listed as a missing person, person with a National Crime Information Center, which is why you have to be careful if not to run with this information as gospel or anything, because there's a lot of stories revolving around this, and the timeline is a lot. You'll have to sort through it, each source, depending on how much time you have to see which source is agreeing on the exact same thing. You know, you have to sift through all of this and see which party, what is it? You have to sift through all the sources to see what thing that every source is all saying. And if you don't take the time to actually do that, you could get in trouble. And I'm not trying to be on here maliciously. I just want to talk about it because I'm concerned to it. I like Kelly Price's music from what I lightly follow. I like her journey. I like her ups and downs, no pun intended, with her weight loss. You know? So she's a powerful singer. And she was a powerful singer when she lost the weight, too. I don't know if Adele was blessed to keep her strong vocals when she lost the weight or not. And that's neither here nor there, per se. But Kelly's voice is still attacked with or without the way. That's him. That's God. Um, prior to her sudden disappearance, Price revealed to her fans back in July that she was battling the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the symptoms were taking a toll on her. She was admitted to a hospital approximately a week later and placed in the ICU after her symptoms worsened. Her family also says she was in contact with them during what? Her family also says she was in contact with them during her stay at the hospital in August, and her children visited her several times. Three weeks after, comma, Price's children received a phone call that she was discharged from the hospital, although they said she didn't appear to be fully recovered from the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't think you necessarily have to be completely, she's alive, you know, rise from your grave, but you got to be good enough to get out because they need to put some more bodies in the bed, bodies in the bed, all of y'all and y'all have three more bodies in the bed. She's good enough to go home and go home enough to recover. If you hear all that noise in the background, that's our cat Tango. We've got a couple of boxes here and he just threw his body into the box and slid down off of this things I have on the floor, so. Her family added that Price's boyfriend is reportedly preventing friends and family from visiting her home. Based on the facts, an investigation is currently underway to find the singer. Now, like I just said before, on the platform, Larry Reed, he got some information that said that she's now married to her boyfriend, but on this article written a couple of days ago, 23rd, I keep looking at the date. There's a date down in my corner, so I can just remember the date and keep in time with what's going on. And you know, according to this article, a couple of days ago, 23rd, it's still stating that, you know, that's her boyfriend. But nonetheless, I'm not spreading the word that she's married. I'm just telling you all these stories that I'm hearing from different platforms. 
but you can't hold one thing over the other and you can't hold one platform over the over the other per se but you can check all platforms and see which pl what platforms are saying all the same things despite all the things that are coming up so this is kind of a fun way to fact check and make sure you don't get in trouble so that's that that's a nice picture thank you hollywood unlock Thank you, um, Deja Monet. And once again, this is the Larry Reed live show. As you can see, when the, the story first broke, you know, he was um, on there talking about what he had heard. And it's pretty much what I'm talking about. All these speculations of seeing Miss Price and her boyfriend out at a restaurant. You know, I think this is after the hospital thing. This video is right here talking about what I just said, that he's got information that she's not married. And then this is the video that happened today. And the woman to the left in the green is Kelly Price's sister. What I'm gathering, she's the one who's been going around asking Miss Price to come forth and let her know that she's okay and on that note there's a quote she said from today's larry reed lives um video and as you can see from four hours ago let me see hope i don't have crumbs on my face i don't have my mirror here Dude, I'm looking for that page. All right here. So the video, 92621, this video is called, um, this video that you're looking at now with the thumbnail with the lady in the green and Kelly Price is called Update. Kelly Price located by close family member, question mark. Combo with Sh Sean Ray Price Live. So Sean Ray is her sister. Let me see if I can make this small so you guys can see it. Oh yeah, that's a 300%. So there it is. There's the there's the um there's the title up there. Update Kelly Price located by close family member question mark. So her sister said in closing, the woman in the green, that when and if she gets the chance to talk to her sister, be it face to face or over the phone somehow, she's going to have strong conversations with her. Strong conversations will be held once getting the chance to speak with her sister strong conversations meaning she you know just asking her like yo where have you been why have you left this hanging why have you left this high and dry her sister um was it shan ray said that she had got a piece today that she that that she said over the Larry Relies um video today. She got a piece today because she found out that her sister is okay. And how she found that out was through a friend whose word she holds weight to. That woman told her that Kelly is okay. So that gave Kelly's sister, the lady to the left in the green sean ray um a piece although she haven't really heard from her like face to face or um you know on the telephone nikki gilbert which is the woman who um she takes her word for strongly you know someone she can trust by her giving her the confirmation that she's cool her sister was able to 
you know, will come on the platform and let everybody know that she's gonna calm her nerves, which is good because you don't need to be having your nerves up while the Tyrannosaurus Rex is going around. So thanks to Nikki Gilbert, thanks for um, Sean Ray Price coming on, letting us know that. And to my knowledge, because I haven't searched beyond that point, beyond that four hour mark that you see up there, I haven't found any more information um, pertaining to that, but I do hope she's okay. But that's the word we got, that she is okay, and she's just trying to recover from that. And pretty much, I can say all across the board, from these platforms that's been out, she did get the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and on top of that, she's just tired. Who wouldn't be? if you are the cash cow of your family and you get treated as such i'd be tired too and i want a vacation as well from all that because after all the goal is to get better and you the last thing you want is to be surrounded by um people asking you for for anything like that when the concern should be to to make her be okay but the concern the concern to making her be okay shouldn't be out of the guise of we got to get this cash cow up and running you know don't miley cyrus her <laughs> don't britney spears her you know just don't keep her around healthy just so you guys can get cash from her i think i disappeared too so let's see here what do i have in here i'm going through everything i had a good time taking my notes making sure i say everything and i'm giving credit where credit is due Thanks to all the YouTubers who have been providing good information because from each platform, I've been able to get other things out of it to share with you guys so you can go to their platform and see for yourself. <clears throat> I'm looking just one moment. Oh yeah, that's an article on T that TMZ provided too. Let me see how, how um, let me stop sharing this. Let me see how long this video is. Oh, it's just now, just now we're in. I didn't, I didn't type that in yet because I do want to see the TMZ one because the last um, video, we, last article we read, I think did reference TMZ and we were looking at Hollywood a lot. So, let me see if I can find something on here real quick. While I look, I think I can play a video. This will give you guys some time to um, refresh, unwind, gather your notes, see for yourself all the links I shared real quick. You can go on, um, look at that real quick while I play this video. And then we can all be caught up at the same time. <music>
you know, I gotta go to the ladies' room. So what I'm gonna do is just actually play the song one more time. enjoy the intermission i know i did that song is awesome i also play it quite frequently now on my instagram in the um what's called the mirror tab what do you call it it only lasts 24 hours that tab so <laughs> um i'm going to the tmc thing tmc i don't like tmc <laughs> let me look it up tmz Written by TMZ. I'm looking for TMZ.com. That's where you go, right? Come on. TMZ. I know they have like their own website. Yeah. Let's see if I can find her. Oh boy, it's a lot of news filled in here already. It's a lot of stuff that's happening in between time. So I might have to, they have a search bar so I can type it in the search bar. But perhaps I'll get to where I'm trying to be. 925, gospel singer, Kelly Fast seems to confirm itself. Here's something, 925, that's 126. Oh, the server returned an uh, internal error. Let me look on my notes to see where that article came from. I'm gonna share the screen. Um, so you guys can see what I just saw, because perhaps I went to the wrong one. So I'll go share, share screen. Hey, let's try this again, boys and girls. Hey. <laughs> Good. <laughs> hey. Okay, look, we're on TMZ. I tried to go here first. 
This was dated 925-21. Gospel singer Kelly Price seems to confirm herself. She's not missing. Well, something is broken. We'll fix it as soon as possible. Sorry for any inconvenience that this has caused. Well, I'm going to go to this one. Gospel singer Kelly Price missing in Georgia after receiving the T-Rex battle, revealing the T-Rex battle. Do it say now this one was written 92421, 3:05 p.m. PT, PT. And there's the picture that they chose. Gospel singer Kelly Price has gone missing in Georgia. TMZ has learned. And it happened shortly after she was released from the hospital after battling the Tyrannosaurus Rex. According to officials in Cobb County, Kelly has been listed as missing as a missing person following a welfare check conducted at her home last Sunday. We're told the authorities found no evidence of foul play and spoke with Kelly's boyfriend at the residence, but she's now listed as missing with the National Crime Information Center. Now, According to, let's go here, a new update that just happened right after this went out on TMZ. Let me go to the link. According to the Armand Wiggins show, word just came in. Kelly Price, not okay, allegedly in long-term care. Facility on ventilator. Family not listed as contact. Towards the start of this video, which is right here. Let's magnify that so everybody can see. There she is. And once again, this video is called, Hey. Okay, the video wasn't called, Hey. But I, th <laughs> I thought I wrote that down. <laughs> Kelly Price not okay, allegedly in long-term care facility on ventilator and family not listed as contact. So, um, according to the Armand Wiggins show, that's what it says, and the video was released um, yesterday. This video was, as you can see, one day ago, and the article is read from TMZ. And I'll read what the articles, I think I just read the article from TMZ. So the information that came in right after TMZ released the article I just read, which was this here. After TMZ released the article I just read, which is right here, provided by TMZ, an update came in. And the update said, um... And in, in, in the voice, it says, so after a few hours after the TMZ article broke, Kelly Price lawyer came out and said, she's fine. She's safe. She's recovering from the T-Rex. But she didn't disclose the location. So at least I know Kelly Price lawyer is a woman. That's what I'm gathering. I didn't know because I thought Kelly Price lawyer was a, a guy, but it's a girl. So once again, this is what the um, lawyer came out to say. Um, where is it? I shall hold my place as I turn the page. So a few hours after TMZ article broke, Kelly Price's lawyer came out and said she's fine. She said she's recovered from the T-Rex. Well, she didn't disclose the location. <laughs> so she's fine. She said she didn't record the location. And that kind of goes along with the video that came out today, which was time stepped four hours ago. That um, she got word from her sister, the lady in the thumbnail with the green, which is Kelly's sister, the green, um, stating that a trusted source said that she's good. So that gave her sister peace knowing that this trusted source that they've trusted for a long time, you know, reached out to say, to say that she's good. So everything's adding up collectively that is circling around that she is okay, but she really wants to be left alone. 
and who can blame her in a time like this? She got to focus on healing because she's, even though her kids are grown, she's still a mom. And she belongs to someone. So, she, you know, she's with a, she's got a boyfriend slash a fiance. They haven't declared what's going on with that yet, but she's with someone. So she's got other people too. So she's got to get well for her. So I said all that to say that. So I documented everything in a timeline form to show that everything's adding up slowly but surely. And it's starting to show that she is fine, but she just really wants to be left alone. And she didn't add her parents or, well, not her parents, rest in peace. She didn't add her close to kin, like relatives, like aunts and uncles, because that was her purpose. And usually when people don't add certain family members on, it's because it's, they're going to cause too much havoc. And if you're in the hospital trying to get killed, the last thing you want is more drama. So she just didn't add those people on the list to come, to come see her. Because it would cost too much stress. Rightfully so in a smart move. So she's healing. She doesn't want to be bothered by people causing her too much stress. While she's dealing with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But a lot of people just wish. Even though that is the case. That she did like a 15 second TikTok. Even if she had a bonnet on her face. She didn't have to have makeup on. Just to say yo I'm okay. And then be out. But once again, she doesn't have to please anybody. You know, she don't have to live for the fans, what the fans are concerned. And that's just about as far as it's going to go. I am going to conclude once again with the long-winded quote that she said, which is good. That she said on the Breakfast Club. Let me see if I can go back to the Breakfast Club. Oh, here. And this video was good too. Um, I have to give credit to where credit is due. Let's see here. Shout out. Where is that nowhere I got that information from? Because that was good too. Oh, yeah, because I did read that video. That was good. Okay, hang on. Let me reread this. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, so this circles back to what I was saying, how it's good to fact check and just see when you look on everyone's platform to see what everyone's talking about mm -hmm. and find the things that everyone's saying just through all the speculations and stuff. And here's another um, source. I believe this is the video here from the Wiley Show. And the video is got, I don't know, this is the Nicki, the Nicki Minaj one. So this is the video with the video about Kelly Price is in the video thumbnail with with Nicki Minaj with her purple hair and stuff and that video so you can look at it is called um exclusive Tasha K defend Nicki Minaj Karen Civil versus Jason Lee Omni and something is arrested even though Kelly Price isn't in the um title her pictures on the thumbnail and it also reiterates what the lawyer said in the sh in the show here so it says um from his point of view he didn't from his point of view he didn't feel worried and gathering from what <laughs> all this what it is that she just didn't want to be bothered so he didn't feel worried that you know something was wrong with her but just simply wanted to get away from the, the ruckus of family pulling on her and once again, references that TMZ also reported that Kelly Pressler reported that Kelly is not missing. She is healing from the T-Rex, from the T-Rex and the place not listed, which makes sense. Why would they tell the public where she's going to heal? Because that will cause more stress. It was funny, though. Um, let me see. Yup, because of the, he was going on the rent. She tired. She tired of y'all bothering her. <laughs> she tired of y'all bothering her for money. She left you. <laughs> like, oh, man. 
So yeah, I'm saying all that to say everything's wrapping up. She seems to be doing good. And I'm going to piggyback to Breakfast Club because that was a good interview. And I'm going to end with the quote she stated in regards to her album called Grace that came out five months ago. And then after those five months, the, 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 the album Grace came out five months ago. So upon her release, two weeks after the release of her CD, Grace, was going to be a book that she wrote accompanying the message she was bringing. I think that book is also called Grace. So in alignment to what's going on with her right now and piggybacking on what she said, she, you know, everybody extend everyone some grace in regards to this this missing this um this story of her being supposedly missing and family and friends you know extend a level of grace with compassion and empathy as she goes through the tyrannosaurus rex because i'm quite sure it's scary and it's stressful and she's at a new point in her life once again her kids are grown so she's an empty nester she's lost a lot of family due to the t-rex you know she lost a sister before that and then the divorce i mean she's going through a lot so let me find that page so i can wrap this up because it's really good what she said once again thanks breakfast club for interviewing her it was a good interview and i think i listened to it i know i listened to it at least two times when she was on there it was good really good so it says the breakfast club the video that is titled um kelly price speaks on body shaming and the music industry grief growth her new album grace and more this video came out five months ago and her getting on the whole topic of grace is when she was segued into um, being referred to how her grandparents gave her grace despite of them being over religious they gave her grace and and showed compassion empathy to her when she was pretty much considered homeless and pregnant and 18 they extended her grace during those times where you know you really shone upon to be like that and religious so having said that kelly responded nodding her head slowly yeah yeah i need it a lot grace a lot in my life and we all do every time i talked about this project when people ask me i don't i say i think the problem is just we as humans we really can do better about extending grace to other people most of the time we don't realize how important grace is until we need it for ourselves and we find ourselves in a hot seat or people judging our actions or what we say or what they think about us or what they've heard that's when we want people to understand and listen she continued on by listing listen listing and mentioning things regarding grace that went on as follows let's see here <laughs> oh yeah um, I have a U verse reading plan that's coming out. I think it, I think in about two weeks on the subject of grace. And I broke the word down into an acronym. Grace is a gift. It's the gift of giving, responsibility, gift, responsibility, accountability of yourself, and to expect accountability of other people, but with compassion and empathy. That's real grace. You are responsible and it should be given as freely as you are willing to receive grace. You should give it that, you should give it that freely. So that's why I call it a gift. You have the responsibility to be responsible. You should expect others to be responsible too. We should be accountable. You should hold other people accountable for their actions too. But the difference between just that and the true act of grace is to do it in compassion and with empathy. Because at some point, when you need it, that's what you're going to want. 
So in closing, I close with those words that Kelly Price said while she was um, going on her promotional tour and campaign about the album Grace and the book that she wrote about the deepness and originality and the true meaning of grace, which is empathy, which is empathy and compassion. Grace is real, authentic empathy and compassion. So in this time of her distress, let's all think about exercising what her album cover is about in the book, it's a mission statement that she wrote, having some grace, empathy and compassion and regarding her in this situation and i hope that her family and friends are saying the same thing to her while she's going through this and i wish all the best to her family while they're coping with this this was a good live i had at the time please go to the um youtube channels i refer to regarding this topic tell them a la tv sent you you know <laughs> I had a great time, Kelly Price. Get well soon. Thanks for coming out with another album. Thanks for coming out with some good music. Um, wishing you the best. And like you said in your previous article from what 2015, you had to start making choices that reflected your true happiness. So I hope in this time of Tyrannosaurus Rex, you are doing that again. Finding your true happiness and not living for others, but living for what you know is right and it seemed like five months ago you were right on the great path so i can't wait till you get better so i can continue hearing you go on these um, podcast to, podcast tours talking about grace and how you grew up in new york and stuff i really enjoyed that interview that you did on the breakfast club it was very encouraging and how you were honest about the um, whole body image thing you struggled with that was good that was real good. And telling us about how you were poor and went from school to school. It was just a great story. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you for being real with us in regards to your life and how it was hard coming up. And how you had a baby and stuff so young. That's, that could be scary. So my name is L.A. Pronounced like L.A. like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm crazy. Signing out. Y'all have a good night. Order a mask. 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 Buy 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 a mask. Order 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 a mask. Buy 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 a mask.